Ну, а звайте мы. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Mutambuze. Guess what today? So today we are going to Makshon Falls National Park to check out their animals but specifically learn more about the Big Five. Here is uh, Joseph, he's uh, our tour guide, part of uh, Kuba Safaris. Uh, and yeah, that's our driver. So, Steven. Yeah, <laughs> Steven. So yeah. So the time is 6.45 a.m. and as we set off, it has become clear that we needed to buy a few things for our five-hour journey ahead. We are just here in Kawempe, uh, just doing some last-minute check and then shopping. Back on the road, with enough water to last us the entire day, we braced ourselves for a hoping 305 kilometers which is roughly a five to six hour drive. So two hours into the journey, it became quite clear to us again that we needed to make another stopover for some quick breakfast. We have so far driven for two hours. That is around uh, 138 kilometers out of the 380. So right now we are just having a little bathroom breaks and also having breakfast. Damn, I'm getting bored. I just sitting in my room. I just wish somebody could hang. So guys, after getting my breakfast, it's time to hit the road. As we enjoyed the views, we made our way to the Karuma Bridge and at this time, everything was going according to plan until this happened. Don't speed, don't speed. Hey, what's speed? Uh, hey, what do you mean? Oh, sorry. What do you mean? So if you're planning a trip to Maxion Falls, one thing you must know is it's prohibited to feed the roadside baboons and if you do so, make sure you're not caught. As the trouble cleared, we drove for a few more hours until we reached our destination. It's about uh, 3.40. We're actually on schedule, so we're just waiting for our lunch. Uh, later on, we are going to go for the game drive, uh, which is uh, quite an ex exciting experience, so I can't wait for it. In the meantime, let me show you around. About, uh, it's about 5.11, uh, we've just left uh, the hotel rooms and I'm in the middle of uh, Pakwach town. This is Pakwach. This is uh, my friend, she's called Val. Val, say hi. <laughs> After buying a few more things, we quickly rushed to enjoy our evening drive. arrived at uh, Maxion Falls National Park 
and uh, we are just checking in. The time is about a few minutes to six, so I think we'll get a few minutes. And uh, right at the entrance, we were able to spot this uh, very terrifying animal. It's called the white hog. In front there, Since it was my first time here, I decided to ask around what other people who have been here before think of the place. This is a beautiful place, and when it's the holidays, it's come and uh, it's join the national park and enjoy with the national park or the, the, the animals. You all should travel. Traveling makes life easy. Uh, kill stress, obviously, for those who work a lot and do not get time for their personal lives, for their family time, things like that. Big Five, we don't look at big in size, but we consider the contribution that an animal gives to balance an ecosystem. One of them is the elephant. Elephants are known as ecosystem engineers. At this time, I was very excited to see the Big Five, but soon realized it was almost impossible because the sun had already set, so we had to turn back. The following day, we woke up super early, excited about the big day ahead, As we made our way through the park, it quickly became clear to us that some animals, specifically the Big Five, might have gone to spend the holidays with their loved ones. Hi guys, so we are here at the uh, Hippo Pool site. Yeah, enjoy myself in the world. What did you love most about the morning drive? The biggest highlight has been seeing so many cobs, so very many as far as the eye can see. My biggest highlight is about the, the game driving. It's cool, they have been dozing. <laughs> it has been awesome. We have had an amazing fun, 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 fun. Yeah. These are some of the hippos right here, just chilling. With less than 20 minutes to spare, we quickly made our way to the second highlight of the trip. So guys, we are here at the boat cruise site. Very much excited. Just to relieve the past memory of going right down to the falls. Any last words? In case You don't lose moment. I know. Think about me one more time before you go. Right now we're now waiting to see Maxion Falls. We have a lot of people right here. I promise you it's gonna be a beautiful event right now. So we are on the Albert now. You guys should be here for Christmas. So now we are headed for the falls. Upon reaching Maxion Falls, we quickly discovered that the water levels were high, so we couldn't take our much anticipated hike. Because of the rapids, they are not going beyond this point, so just take your photos. 
Of course it was a disappointment but nonetheless we enjoyed the view. There is anything I can tell anyone out there is uh, you have to move around and see your country. You know, uh, personally, I didn't think we had such beauty in, in, in this part of the country. Uh, big ups to Kubwa Safaris for bringing us this experience. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>